Hey everyone, this is Ross from CryptoCrane. Today I'll be reviewing the Antminer S9 Bitcoin Miner from Bitmain. The S9 series has been around for a while and has varied in speed depending on the batch. The latest batch at the time of this review is rated at 13.5 terahashes per second. Swing! Slice, slice, slice. Let's see here. One set of poorly written instructions? Check. Aha, and one really well packaged Ant Miner S9. It's supposed to do that, I promise. Behold! It's a very, very expensive toaster looking device. Except instead of toast, it, it mines bitcoins, which is way better. Yep, it needs 10 6-pin PCIe power connectors. 10. It has two high airflow 120mm fans, one for intake, one for exhaust. On the front of the device, there's a single Ethernet port, a reset button, a couple of status lights, and another button that does absolutely nothing. Hear that rattling? It's fine. Don't freak out. Banana for scale, obviously. The S9 measures 5.3 inches wide, 6.2 inches tall, and 13.8 inches long. Most of the 9 pound 2 ounce weight comes from the external casing and the 189 mini heatsinks covering the ASIC chips on the three internal hashing boards. Now let's talk power supplies for a moment. First, there's the original APW3 from Bitmain. It's sturdy, dependable, and has the right number of power connectors. Then there's the APW3 Plus, which is pretty much the same, just a different shape. Ooh, and here's the newest one, the APW3 Plus Plus. That's a really good one too. Finally, we have a consumer grade PC power supply, the EVGA Supernova 1600 G2. Oh man, look at all those connection slots. In this video, I'm going to choose the EVGA power supply. Why? Because it's the only one in this group that is able to supply enough power over a 110 volt circuit. Both the APW3 and the APW3 Plus could easily power the Antminer S9. They can both output up to 1600 watts, but only if they're connected to a 205 volt or higher power source. The brand new APW3 Plus Plus, on the other hand, can output up to 1200 watts over a 110 volt circuit, or up to 1600 watts on a 220 volt circuit. Since the Antminer S9 requires about 1 watt per gigahash, the EVGA power supply is one of the best options for people who don't have access to 220 volt power. Unlike most PC power supplies, this one comes with its own custom power cable. Mmm, that is a thick power cable. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. Womp womp. Maybe we forgot something. Something like the 24-pin ATX motherboard connector, perhaps. That's right, folks. Consumer-grade PC power supplies need some help getting started. Normally, the 24-pin ATX power cable would be connected to a PC motherboard. The power button on the motherboard would complete the circuit that connects to the specific pins on the cable. Obviously, we don't have a motherboard in this design. That means that we'll need to complete the circuit in some other way. In the past, popular choices included paper clips or pins. There, it's perfect. That ought to work. Now, which pins do I jump again? Okay, there has got to be a better and safer way to do this. Hey look, this was in the power supply box. It's almost like they knew what I was trying to do. Or, if you like fancy lights like I do, you can get one of these power supply testers for like six bucks.
I forgot to mention, it's probably a good idea to connect your miner to the network prior to powering it on. In this case, I'm not very close to my internet router, so I'm going to use a Wi-Fi bridge. Using a Wi-Fi bridge, I can pretty much put this thing anywhere. Notice the watt meter at the top left portion of the screen. You can see that I'm using a 120 volt circuit. On the right, I've added a decibel meter. Spoiler alert, these are loud. Hmm, that's not so bad. I could get used to that. Okay then, so I spoke too soon. This is one of the most annoying devices I've ever heard. As my wife has informed me, these are definitely not suitable for the living room. The S9 has an unusually long startup period when compared to other ant miners. It takes almost two minutes before it even starts to dynamically test and tune each of the 189 ASIC processors. Notice the watt meter spike to around 1500 watts. Listen to the fans adjust their speed to compensate for the heat. I'm fairly certain that someone at Bitmain designed them this way just to make sure you can't tune out the sound. After nearly six and a half minutes, the startup procedure is finally completed and the S9 has begun mining. You can tell by the green flashing light on the front. The Antminer S9 is advertised as requiring 1323 watts at the wall, plus or minus 10%. At 1640 watts, I'm closer to 24% over that number. Um, something seems off here. You can see that at 1640 watts, I'm using 14.53 amps on my 15 amp circuit. Needless to say, this is not ideal. You typically don't want to use more than 80% of your circuit's maximum capacity long term. Let's see if the power draw is the same when using an APW3++ power supply with higher voltage. As you can see on the watt meter, this is a 240 volt circuit. Please note, none of the power supplies from Bitmain include a power cable. Fortunately, they use standard C13 receptacles, which are commonly found in many other consumer electronic devices. The other end of the cable depends on what kind of outlet you're plugging into. In this case, the other end of this cable is just a standard three-prong plug that works with outlets found here in homes in the United States. Using the APW3++ power supply with a higher voltage circuit, I'm seeing a 200 watt power draw reduction. On a 240 volt circuit, the S9 is only drawing 6.27 amps. This might be a good time to mention that there's a 50 foot extension cord running from the watt meter to the miner. Keep in mind that the longer the cable, the more resistance. Perhaps that's been adding to the wattage. Wow, reducing the cable length from 50 feet down to 4 feet makes a big difference. I also retested the 1600 watt EVGA power supply using the 240 volt circuit with the shorter cable and found that it was slightly less efficient than the APW3++ with a power draw of 1430 watts. Well, that concludes part 1 of the review for the Antminer S9. Don't forget to subscribe and watch part 2 to see a walkthrough of the pool configuration as well as a 24 hour profitability test. If you're looking for a trusted American distributor with a 100% feedback rating and who specializes in mining hardware, then check out CryptoCrane on Amazon using the link in the description.